All right, so on this money run, you basically just need a pistol and a bag. Honestly, I would bring it. There's so much loot on this map. It's actually disgusting. And if you just bring on a hatchling, there's a lot of like moments where if you had a pistol, you could probably kill a player or a scab and then just get even more loot. So just always bring a pistol and a backpack. If you can't afford it, then just do a hatchling, obviously. But in my opinion, pistol, backpack every single time. So here we just basically spawned and we're going to run over to, I call it the server room. I'm going to bring up a map right now and show you exactly what we're going to be running for and where we ran from. You can loot pretty much any building in this map. You can roll around on the ground and probably get some loot stuck to you. That's how much loot is on this map. It's disgusting, but I'm just going to show like an efficient run that I... I do if I'm like sort of tilted or if I'm watching like my favorite streamer, you know, watching Tarkov, do some pistol runs, get fat loots. So basically you run up, we're going to go through the back door here, go through here, and like something flashbangs you, don't know what that is, you just check all these little spots. I go pretty quick just because I don't want to waste time and I do want to try and fight people eventually and I just want to get like as much loot as I can in the prison wallet and then look for a player or a scab, grab a gun. I move on. You can check over here too. One spawns there. Just fly up these stairs real quick. One more. Then you take a hard left. Now we're gonna check this table in here on the right side for intelligence. I think it spawns on the left side of the table too. I might be wrong. You can check in here for an AK. Sometimes spawns. It's fully loaded too. Has like a PK-06 and uh, I think it's the AK-74M. It's like loaded up from mechanic. Went the wrong way there. <laughs> Still learning it a little bit. And then you come down here. You can usually try and pick somebody off from up top. I like to go this way because you get the high ground. And then basically just check all these servers. Light bulb, cord, easy, 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 easy. I'll just grab this. It's like, I think it's 42K. It's not worth though on the two by two slots. That's 109k. This sometimes double spawns. So you gotta be careful of that. Yeah, you just walk around, loot as much as you can. A second military cable. If you if you aren't sure yet, um, keep the military cables because two of them trade for a P90. So you can almost pull out a P90 a run, to be quite honest. So you just do one of these runs, bring out a P90 in the next if you want. And then after we've done that, there's going to be some asshole usually up here trying to shoot you. <laughs> this is it. They'll usually spam too while you're looting, so just be careful of that. I do sometimes run over here. I haven't gotten a ton of loot here, and usually like the prison wall it's full, but you can check it out. Maybe just pe like, people don't know about it. You can loot the scab too. And there's sometimes uh, a horse that spawns to the right of them, but... I've only found that twice. Now you can go to, to the building to my left here and up on top on the green ammo case, or crates. There'll be three uh, spawns up there too for like the military cables and stuff, but I just skip it. I pop this for later because usually I can get a gun or I'm gonna go try and kill the raiders. I'll bring up a map and show you what building I try and do that from. So while you're going up here, the the other reason I pop the alarm too, besides just the raiders, is that if there's anyone up there sniping, it does give me a slight advantage. So as it's going off, you you can sneak around a lot easier while it's blasting in his ear. So yeah, there's two reasons why I pop that. So you check in here, on top of this safe to my left, uh, intelligence spawns up there, and there's a gun that spawns right here. I always go to here first because if a gun spawns, I can switch from my pistol to the gun and then possibly fight a guy up top on the globe. I'm not trying to do like super efficient hatchet runs. I, I do like to fight in my money run. I just try and make it efficient by filling up my gamma and working from there. Now we go up here too. The other reason I like this whole run is because you can usually get an SVD up here. 
There's one that spawns on this table. Another intelligence spawns on the couch right here. Like, you see, like, there's so much loot on this map that, like, you just need a backpack. The Your cheeks can't hold it all on this map. It's actually insane. And we go in here. I usually clear this first. And then if it's all clear, I'll usually come out here, take a left, and then SVD spawns right on here. And this is why I pop the thing for raiders. I, I do usually find a gun on this map. And then I'm going to check upstairs. There's a weapon case or weapon crate and um what else was there there's a a bunch of attachments i haven't got anything like super great from that to be honest but it is what it is then you sit up here you can look around scout it out and then i usually go over here and that's where the raiders will spawn and then i'll show you where i shoot them from and how i sort of approach that on the map right now so basically you start from the globe you run down the mountain and then you'll find this building you just want to go in the front door, go up to the top level. You can look over this way, see if there's any scavs or the player scav boss. And then here you can see all the raiders. Now, this is like a death spot, so be very careful when you peek. Even like coming up to this building, be very careful. So, yeah, that's the end of this video. You can follow me at Buzzard TV on Twitch and Twitter. And if you subscribe to the YouTube, you'll be able to see any more EFT videos I have coming out. My next one is going to be the P90. I'm going to be looking at how far you can hear a silence shot from. And if you have any more suggestions or ideas on videos I can make, just leave them in the comments. Peace.